YouTube, what's going on? Hunter Gang, what's good, y'all? It's your boy back with another one. If you're new to the channel and you're just tuning in for the first time, I appreciate you more than you probably will ever know. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for your boy, man. Show some love. Drop a like. Drop a comment. I appreciate the love, man. But without further ado, <clears throat> excuse me, y'all. I've been a little under the weather, man. That's why I've been taking a little break. Um... But I'm back. Nonetheless, we're going to get right into it. As I said, um, this video is basically going to be about what you see right in front of you, which is my ARP, my budget ARP build. Um, this will be more like a one year review on it because I'm going coming up on a year and about another two weeks that I've had this, um, that I purchased this firearm. And since then, I've done quite a few to it. Um, it's definitely a budget friendly AR, AR pistol, um, AR platform in general, just because of the fact that, you know, a lot of these ARs out here, you know, a lot of AR brands are, um, more on the higher side. You know, if you're not looking to pay 1500 to $2,000 for one, or better yet, even seven to $800 for one, then... This video will be pointing you to the right direction, especially if you're just starting off on the AR platform. This is my first AR um, pistol, AR platform. This this gun actually got me into the AR platform. Um, so if you like me and you're new to ARs, then I would definitely say that this video will point you in the right direction. This in front of you um, that you see before you is the uh, AR Radical ARP, Radical Firearms. Um, I got this as a full upper and lower kit. It did not come with the brace. Pretty much didn't come with anything you see on it. Um, basically, it was just a stock AR pistol, you know, basic mil spec accessories, nothing crazy, you know. Um, any Everything you see on it now, um, pretty much minus the trigger, I've changed. But for pretty much for the price that you're getting it for, in my opinion, was a steal, probably more than a steal. It was actually almost too good to be true. Um, and basically, um, I figured I just wanted to get something that I could start off with that'll get me in to the AR world because I wasn't really too caught up with it, too informed on it. I mean, I've always knew about AR-15s, but as far as like the uppers and lowers and everything you could do to it, I wasn't too familiar with that. So I didn't want to go ahead and spend you know 800 to a thousand dollars on my first ar purchase you know when i really didn't have too much knowledge of them which is why i went ahead and got the radical firearms because from all the information that i found on them they're a very uh, reputable company they haven't been around too long um long enough that they build a rep but you know not as long as obviously like the coats and things like that like you know the the older firearm companies have been around for a while but long enough that they've built a great rep and that's what made me want to go with them um i've seen a lot of good reviews on it as far as a budget rifle or budget ar budget pistol whatever you want to call it um i've seen a lot of good i've heard a lot of good things and i've seen a lot of good things on it so it made me want to go ahead and um and purchase it you know i found it on my own but when i did i wanted to look up some research do some research on it and i've you know i've liked what i've seen so i went ahead and pulled the trigger on it and like I said, man, if you're new into the AR world, if you're just getting into ARs, I would say go for something like this. Don't don't listen to anybody else. Don't think that you got to spend a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars on a, on an AR, you know, and get the best of the best top of the line. You don't really need that, especially if you're not going to be in competitions and things like that. You just want to go to the range and let some some rounds down range. And this is something right here for you. Um, So far, I got about. I would say about 600 rounds through it. Maybe, maybe, maybe if that five to 600 rounds through it, um, I had no problems with this gun. Um, since I had it, I've took it to the range maybe about four or five times. And you guys know me. If, if, if you're new to the channel, and if you're not new to the channel, then you know me. If you're new to the channel, then you're about to know I'm very down to earth, man. I'm not sponsored by anybody. So believe me when I, information I'm giving you right now is 100% my opinion but it's also 100% not BS. Um, I don't like to mess around. And, you know, a lot of you guys are watching these videos because you're thinking about making your next purchase on AR or whatever gun you see me reviewing or, or, or updating you on. 
I'm not going to sell you a dream. I'm going to give you the ups, the ups, the downs, the good and the bad. So believe me, if I'm telling you about something, this is 100% the truth. I'm not going to give you any anything that's not truthful. Just because I'm going out, I'm spending my hard-earned money on this. My channel's not monetized. Like I said, I'm not sponsored. You know, at the moment, I'm not monetized. I'm not sponsored by anyone. And even if I was, you know, that'll just be something that they will have to understand is that I'm an honest person. And I don't want to give you guys something that's not good. You know, make you all spend your hard-earned money on something that I'm just, you know, bigging up because I'm getting paid for it. I don't want to do that. If I have to do that, then I'd rather not be sponsored. But nonetheless, you know, basically this is my my opinion, solely based on my opinion. Some people might give you a different opinion on this platform or this specific brand, Radical Firearms, and it might tell you different. But I'm going to give you my opinion, you know, based on my experience since I've had this firearm. Um, so like I said, I've had it for about a year. I've took it to, to the range about four to five times. Got about five to 600 rounds to it. Could be more, could be less, but I know it's in the ballpark of around five to 600 rounds. Um, I've had no issues with it. I've ran a bunch of different ammo through it, 223 and 556. Um, it's done me well. And that basically just goes to show you, you know, th that those are points that I'm also going to give you of why I think it's worth trying out a budget rifle for your first purchase, if especially if it's your first, like I said, your first AR purchase, um, go for something budget friendly because, you know, if it's reputable, you're going to get a good experience from it. And I've gotten a great experience from this. The only thing I would say is my first trip to the range, I had a few times where it kept locking back on me. It wasn't like a failure to feed or nothing like that. It's just uh, the charger handle kept locking back like the first maybe like the first 20, 20 rounds. Um, that was my first trip to the range. So for me, that was more like a breaking period. <clears throat> but after that, everything was a go. Um, like I said, no failure to feed, no jams, anything like that. No failure to eject. Everything was great. Um, I ran, like I said, I ran countless different type of ammo through it. The um, brands, um, PMC, um, Browning, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, was a couple of different ammo brands that I ran through. Right off the back, I couldn't tell you, but I know for one, those were it was different kinds. Um, like I said, two, two, three, and five, five, six. So, the the the, the guns done me great. The firearms done great. Um, like I said, as far as the attachments go, um, this bill probably costed me less than, way less than a thousand dollars for sure. Um, the gun itself was about four hundred bucks. Um, the AR pistol itself, like I said, it didn't come with any attachments. Everything you see on it, I put on. So the brace was probably the most expensive thing I bought for it. The brace ran me about, I think it was about 200. Um, might have been a little less from what I remember. Um, the the flip up sights that you see right there, and the uh, the optic is the same exact brand. So uh, I think it's Tacticon, Tacticon uh, optic and a Tacticon Tacticon flip on sights which is what you see right there. The optics, Kohler's great with that optic. So if you ever think about getting that, um, I actually found those on Amazon. And YouTube, if, you, uh, if you're monitoring this video, I'm not promoting the sales. I do not have anything for sale in this video. Anything that you see, I'm not promoting the sales of any firearms or anything that you see. Um, I don't have anything for sale. So just in case... I don't want to get blocked or, or shadow banned or anything like that. Just trying to get the information out there to my viewers and my subscribers on, you know, how to get a good deal. But as I said before, I don't have anything for sale. So with that being said, right back to it. Um, like I said, the most expensive thing is probably the brace. Um, the grip I got is a Magpul. And then you see here I got the, um, the hand stop Magpul and grip was a combo. I got those two together. Um, and then I also got the old light. This is the old light Olden Mini. This is not the one with the green laser. This is just a flashlight. And then you have the pressure pad right there. I actually did a video on this solely just for the purpose of the light, um, the tactical light. So if you want to go check that out, man, I will really appreciate it. And you could get some information more on this. But pretty much all the attachments you see are relatively inexpensive. I just wanted to change out a few things and kind of make it like my own, which is why I did that. Um, and as you can see here, I got the Radian Raptor charging handle. 
that was relatively inexpensive. That ran me about 70 bucks um, for an Ambi ch charging handle. You can't beat that. I mean, in my opinion, I didn't really like the mil spec one that came with it. It was kind of more like on the rough side. And I didn't like the fact that you could only charge from one side. So this is Ambi. So you could charge it from either side now. I love that. Got the, see if they both move when you push it. But yeah, so pretty much that's it. Um, the only thing I think I have left that I would do to this, honestly, I may change the uh, dust cover to a Magpul dust cover. Um, only because this one, it seems like it might be rusting. I don't know if it's me, you probably can't tell in the video, but I'll probably go for like a more quality um, dust cover and I know Magpul has one, so I might get one. And last but not least will probably be the trigger. Um, I'm not a trigger snob. I'm not really, I don't really care much for triggers. I feel like you could be good with any trigger if you practice, just as well as you can be good with any gun if you practice. But um, I just want like a flat face trigger. So that's kind of why I want to change it. But as far as the break on this, it's not bad. Um, relatively, it's great for me. I guess maybe it's because I'm new to ARs. Maybe obviously if I try something more expensive, I might like it more just because of the quality, but for a budget rifle, you can't beat it. The trigger's fine with me. Um, other people might tell you different, but like I said, I really won't only change it just because I want to, uh, I want a flat face style trigger. I don't know why it's just something about the flat face. I like it more. So that'll probably be the only other thing I'll be changing aside from the dust cover and the trigger. And I think I'll be done. I like it. Some people might hate it. It's a relatively basic build, nothing crazy, as you can see here, I'm trying to get the whole thing in the video. And if you guys are wondering, this is a 10 and a half inch barrel. I believe Radical Firearms also makes this in a seven and a half inch. Um, I didn't know that when I bought the 10 and a half inch, but I'm also not mad that I got the 10 and a half inch because I didn't want to go too small. But at the same time, I do like those five inch ARPs. That'll probably be something that I will add to the channel eventually. I would like a micro. But I do like this 10 and a half inch because um, it's still great at distances. Um, I'm not really too big on long distance shooting. I won't lie. Like I'm some type of hunter or something like that. Like when I go to the range, I normally train at like five to 10 yards. But when I first took this, the range that I went to was uh, 15 to 20 yards. If you wanted to um, shoot like a rifle, you couldn't shoot anything closer. It had to be 15 yards minimum. So. I was hitting around 15 yards with this, great, with no problem. But on average, I do train around like five to 10 because I'm normally training with handguns. Um, I don't really take these out to the range as much as I want to, just because I am almost been so pricey lately. So that's one of the reasons why I also don't have a lot of rounds to this. Like my Draco, I got a lot of rounds to that one because when I bought it three years ago, it was, ammo was a lot cheaper than what it is now. So even 5.56223 has went up. So that's the reason why I haven't really put so many rounds to it. But like I said, if you want to beat on this thing, I'm pretty sure it's going to take a beating. Um, just because, like I said, I run it every time I go to the range and I don't never have issues with it. And like I said, man, I just wanted to make this video to show you guys that, you know, you don't have to spend top dollar on a, on a, on a AR, you know, Daniel defenses. They're beautiful. Um, you know, all those higher, you know, more expensive brands are great. And I'm sure they're worth every penny. I'm not bashing them. I'm just making this more for like, the YouTuber on a budget or, you know, the regular everyday person on a budget, you know, is not going to spend two grand on a, on a rifle or even a thousand for that matter, which is why I think this is one of the best options you can go for um, is Radical Firearms. And there's other there's other budget rifles out there. This isn't the only brand. This is just one of the ones that I'm most familiar with because I've had it already. And, you know, I've had it for almost a year, like I said. So, for me, I'm familiar with it, but there are other other am um other rifle brands out there that are, are are budget friendly that you can go ahead and try out. Especially like I said, if you're new to the AR world, um, I know I said that probably a hundred times, but just letting you guys know, man, you don't need to spend top dollar. You can buy a budget rifle and make it how you want it. You know, put the attachments and you can make any rifle good. Like for me, this is already quality just because of the parts that I changed out and everything, like you know the charging handles and the optics and things like that. So. It doesn't matter really what you buy because you're going to make it yours anyway once you start adding attachments to it. At least me. If you don't plan on doing nothing, I mean, the gun was fine as it is. I just, I wanted to change the parts out just because it was my first build and I wanted to just kind of make it, like I said, like my own. So that's the reason why I did that. But you might leave yours alone. You might not do what I did. You know, most people add attachments. Some people might not. 
but uh like i said you can buy any rifle any any budget ar and make it look like a two thousand dollar ar you know just off adding a few attachments this whole build alone probably costing me about maybe like i said less than a thousand bucks i would say maybe around like the 800 price point and that's where everything i added to it so honestly yeah i think it's worth it because i got myself a fully built rifle for un under a thousand bucks well well under a thousand bucks which is why, once again, leading to my whole point of the video of, you know, a budget rifle is not bad, you know. And I also just wanted to show, share with you guys my budget build, um, you know, how it's been doing and just an update. Because I haven't really done any videos on it as far as, like, how it, it's been, um, you know, how I've done with it in the last year since I had it. But so far, so good. It's great. If anything changes down the line, you know, you, you, know, you guys, you know, I'm going to give you another video once I get to, like, another mile mark probably put another you know 500 rounds to it or maybe another year you know i'll update you as i go uh, and if anything changes you know you'll know about it first firsthand so if there's anything else you guys want to know man just hit that comment section up you guys know i always get back to you as soon as i can and i do write everyone back so no need to wonder if you have any questions you know there's no such thing as a dumb question so if there's anything you need to know about this as far as I have acknowledgement on it and things like that, I'll be able to answer all your questions. Be sure to smash that like button, man. Like I said, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, man. 2024 is a new year, new challenges, um, you know, new everything coming to the channel. So just wait on that. And, you know, like I said, man, I appreciate y'all for watching. So I'm going to leave this one here for y'all. Y'all be safe out there, man, as always. And I'm going to get back to you on the next one.